What's up, y'all? It's the boy Mace. My name is from Now Never Crew, and today we're talking about threading foundation. Now, I've done a couple of videos about threading foundation, but I always feel like they have holes in them, so I wanted a complete, full beginner's guide, 101, whatever you may want to call it, guide to breaking for beginners that everyone should know. You know, your basic threads but in every single category. So we're talking about stand up and top rock threads, arm threads, footwork threads, freeze threads, power move threads, and floor work threads, all your basic beginner ones. So not necessarily every single thread in here is gonna be your absolute easiest thread in the world, but they are the beginner threads for each one of these styles of movement, okay? So this is your beginner threads in floor work, your beginner threads in freezes and power moves, etc. okay? So many times I've taught you guys kind of like the basic floor work threads or maybe footwork or top rock, but I do, I've never really taught you guys power, freeze, and arm threads with it. So I really wanted to complete this foundation and give a one-stop shop of your whole whole circle of basic threading, okay? Now let's dive into each category, I'm gonna teach you all the basics, let's go. Okay, starting from the ground up as always, okay? We're gonna start with floor work threads. This is all your threads with your bum touching the ground, the size of your hips, etc. okay? So let's dive into the first one, we've got your infinity thread. First thing you're gonna do, lie down on your back, arms up, feet up, like a dead bug position. You're gonna bring one hand to the same side foot, then you're gonna make a hole just like this, bring your foot through the hole, boom, and then you're just gonna grab that foot and let go of the first one, and then repeat the process. Thread it through, grab, let go, repeat. And then all you have to do is start to go a little bit quicker, going through, 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 through. As soon as you go through, you let go. Through, let go, through, let go. Through you let go, infinity thread. Welcome back, second one, we've got your figure four. Sit down, feet facing me, hands up, bring your leg across your body like this, the hand is closest to it, grab it, then you're just gonna bring it up like this, make that connection, bring this foot all the way in, so that your knee's going through first, then your toe goes through, boom, like this, then you're gonna repeat that process in reverse. Go back through, and then start again, through. Grab the ground if you want for more stability, then slowly go faster, Kick, 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 boom, 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 boom. Make sure you do this both sides. And welcome back again. Next up, we've got your JB split or James Brown split. Thread or reverse figure four. What you're gonna do is go back to the position you were just in, foot over top, but this time you're gonna bring it underneath. So whichever leg is over top, bring it under now and then put it through. Then again, hand is close to that foot, grabs it, other arm down to the ground, then you're gonna lean back onto your elbow just like this. High knee, your front leg is straight. Then you're gonna bring it through like this. But when you bring it through, you're gonna rotate your hips inwards like this. Then you're gonna open up sideways, okay? And make sure this is wide here and your body's low, head on the ground. Then go in reverse, you're gonna pull it back up, bring your knee in first, then straight, facing front, and then just repeat that process. Going through, rotate, and back up. Now, once you can do that clean, don't bring it up so much, rotate it in right away, going like this. In a sideways motion, boom. Then go up, boom, up, boom, up, hit, up, hit, up. Both sides for this one as well. Next up, we've got your barrel roll thread. Go back to that exact same position we were in, bringing your leg underneath into that reverse finger four. Again, hand closest to your leg, grabs it, other arm down to the ground. You're gonna lie down flat like this, the arm that's not grabbing your foot is gonna go straight behind you. Push away if you're close to a wall. Then head down. You're gonna rotate onto your stomach like this. Bring this leg up. Bring these, this hand right here onto the side of your foot so your toe can hit the ground. Then use your toe, push yourself over, sit back down like this, and then you're up, okay? Again, going here, reverse figure four. Grab your leg, hand goes down. Lie down onto your back. Roll over, rotate your hand so that your toes are free. Put your toe down, come through, and then when you get here, just unthread it like this, boom. Then you can go to the other side. Going around, reverse figure four, arm down, lie down, roll through, and then repeat the process. Roll, up, and switch, roll, up. Welcome back, last one, we've got your bum spin thread. Bring your knees up, making mountains, bring one arm up, then bring the same side leg up like this, boom. Make that window so you can open it up and see through it. Then you're gonna bring the other hand down, then basically all you're gonna do is first thread it like this, okay? So make sure you can understand this thread. So that's just here, 
Foot goes through, boom, don't let go, okay? Boom, straight let go. Then what you're gonna do is at the same time as you thread, your back hand is gonna rotate you into a bum spin. So you're gonna go here, through, here, through. Once you understand that, all you gotta do is go faster. Thread and around, okay? Now, just go even faster. Going up, same time, spin. One more time, faster, going, spin. I added one more, don't, uh, don't hate on my writing. I wrote it from the side, it was very hard, okay? Uh, lastly, I wanna go over a somersault thread too. So we're not gonna do a full on somersault thread. All we're gonna do is a half roll thread, okay? So basically, this starts teaching you how to do threading rollbacks and other things. You don't have to technically do a full circle. To do this, you just have to understand the motion of a roll, okay? So you're gonna start in your figure four thread, just like this, or you can do reverse figure four. Why don't you go over both? Let's go over both. So right here, grab your arm, then you're gonna go thread like this as you roll backwards, okay? So you're going here, bend in, roll, thread. So again, as you roll, you're gonna hold, keep tension here between your hand and your leg so that it's pushing strong, then kick this leg in and up, just like that, okay? So again, you don't have to go all the way over, you just have to understand that thread. If you understand that while moving, it's gonna be really beneficial for you later when you wanna learn how to do rollbacks and the freezes and tricks and all that stuff. So again, for this time, let's do your reverse figure four. So grabbing underneath this time, high knee to your chest, going roll through, all right? And again, going roll through, yeah? If it's hurting your spine, make sure you choose a side of your spine and favor that so you don't roll directly backwards, okay? and roll back. And those are your somersault threads. Before we dive into footwork, I actually have two more for floor work as well that come into here. I'm sorry guys, it's a big foundation, a lot of movements, so if I forget any in here, again, this is just my bias list. So by all means, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, I'm doing my best here. So first off, we're gonna go to knee threads and floor work. All you're gonna do, bring your legs up, making mountain shapes, arms come up, top of your knees, then you're gonna grab one foot and bring it through the hole that you just created like this, okay? So you're gonna bring it like up, boom, through. So, if you don't feel like you have that flexibility and you don't understand it without moving your hand like this, then all you gotta do is train this. Boom, okay? Bring it up, bring it up. Once you're comfortable with that, go back to here, then bring one leg through, boom. Once you're here, you can kick this leg and then bring it all the way back across and then let go, go to the other side. Connect, leg through, Open, connect, leg through. Don't, again, don't, don't move this arm until your leg moves it, okay? Here, connect, through, boom. Here, connect, boom, through. Then you can start doing it faster, like this. All right, good job. Welcome back. Now we should go to handcuff threads with forward two. Thread, you're gonna bring your hands up like this, make a circle. Okay, then all you're gonna do is bring your knees up into that mountain shape, then bring your hands down, walk one foot through and out, just like this, and the other leg through and out, just to the side, so your hands are cuffed like this. Then you're just gonna repeat that process in reverse, going back through, back through. Then raise them up, going in, and in, and then through, and through. Notice I'm gonna manipulate my elbows to go around and again around and then out and out. That's how you get it quicker, okay? Then just start trying it a little bit faster. Pop. Okay, now that we finished floor work, let's go to footwork, okay? For footwork, the first one we're going over is a six step thread, okay? This is the first one that I kind of learned, and this is the base for learning how to do threading in your footwork. All you're gonna do, start in your push up position like this. You're gonna cross your leg just like you would with normal six step. What we're gonna do with this hand is grab the side of your toe, make sure the side of your foot, then you're gonna step this back foot, foot through. So make sure you're making the circle as big as you can, so you can step through, okay? Just like this, then stand up normally. Then you're gonna rotate backwards just like this. Step behind, this hand is free, grab this toe. Make sure you bend it nice and low, so squat into it. Then, side of your foot down, you're gonna put all your weight here, and then step through, boom, boom, okay? So again, go ahead and step side, keep it nice and close to your body so you can reach everything. Step through, then center, other foot behind, grab it, step through. And then, just go a little bit quicker, up, through, up, through, up, through. Next one is your two-step back foot under your sling thread. You're gonna step here, boom, 
Then you're gonna kick this leg front, pop. Then you're gonna grab your knee, just like this, bend low. Bring your leg through, just like that. Then step back and repeat the process on the other side. Going step through, then kick this leg front, grab your knee behind it. Then once you've grabbed your knee, balance. Bring your foot all the way in and step through. So going step, kick out, high knee, arm through, step through, back. Step, kick, in. Step, back, kick, in. So a sling or a bicycle, basically you're making that same motion, boom, boom, like this. Hit, in, in, step, hit, in, in, step, hit, in, in. Welcome back. After this, we're gonna go to the front of our footwork with our kick out threads. All you're gonna do here, Bring one leg out in front of you like this. Grab the toe, lean to the side like you would at CC. Bring that knee nice and tight to your body. Push your hips up and your bum high. Rotate your weight onto it, step through. Then push this foot back. So you can do the other side. And bring this foot to the front. Grab the toe, turn it down, bring it in. Step through, push it out. And then just repeat that process. Pull up, through, back. Up, through, back. Up, back. Up, back. Next up, your knee threads. Starting off with one hand down, you're gonna go hand to your knee, just like this. Bring that leg again, up like this. So try a couple of these first. Then when that's comfortable, bring it up. Boom, through, same thing, rotate it in. Switch, other side, and by that side, I mean this side. Bring it in, boom, okay? So that's with a hand down. Keep your back straight, hips up, and then you're gonna go through here, boom, back. And lean your weight to this side now, going through, back, switch, through, back. Lastly, you've got your handcuff threads in footwork too. So basically for this one, you can go hands down like this, flat, then just walk your foot right through, just like this, okay? Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, lean your weight front, step through, okay, then you're sitting down, then just go backwards, sit down, flat foot, walk through, walk through, then walk in, walk in. And that's literally all the movement is. Again, this is just to start getting you comfortable with doing threads in this position with your bum off the ground. So your threading foundation in freezes is not huge. I'm just gonna be giving you guys like one or two threads in each freeze because they get pretty advanced pretty fast. So we're just gonna do shoulder freeze threads for basics, okay? So all you're gonna do, go to shoulder freeze position. This is assuming you have a shoulder freeze already. Then you're gonna cross the leg in front of you that's closest to me, okay? So it should be opposite arm grabbing that foot. Then all you're gonna do is hold this balance right here. Bring your knee in tight like this, then step through, boom. Then repeat it in reverse. Out and then through. So again, what we're gonna do is go in front of you, reach across, bend all this in. So again, push out and push out. Bring your knee nice and tight, then step through, then step out. Boom, 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 boom. Now that's reverse arm, figure four. I also wanna show you guys same arm or an, and or infinity thread, okay? So infinity thread is grabbing the same leg and arm, just like if you're in a Nike position. Then you're gonna cross this in front like that. As you cross it, your toe is gonna come through, boom, like that, okay? So cross like this, wide, then cross it in front, boom. And here, through, here, through. Welcome back, now we're gonna do our headstand threads. Just our basic figure four thread again in headstand, nothing crazy. Starting with the infinity thread one, Go up onto your teddy bear headstand, bring one hand down just like this, then place your foot on it. Okay, then you're gonna do that same cross in as we did before. And then when you get to the top, you bring your toe through. So going here, through, grab. And again, going down on the ground, through, and down, through. Down, through, down. Okay, now for behind, for behind, all you have to do is cross that foot behind like this. Go nice and tight. So this foot, you can even go on the ground if you want to start it like this. And then you're gonna step it through. Boom, put it down, just like this. Now that you've done infinity thread version, now we're doing the figure four version, okay? So the figure four version, we're gonna do with a toe tap on the ground because it's beginners. Again, we're not gonna go super advanced with it. So you're just gonna go like this, foot down in front, other knee to your elbow, like this. Then you're just gonna bring it, balance it, and you're gonna step through, boom, okay? And then grab again behind going hop up if you want, hop up, thread through, place it down. Behind, hop up, thread through, place it down. Then to go back, all you have to do, same thing reverse. Go up, step through, and up, through, up, through. Then if you feel confident enough, you can go with your foot off the ground and then thread it like this. Boom, 
Boom. Welcome back. Now we're gonna do our handstand thread. All right, now we're gonna handstand. We're gonna do the same thing we did down below with the touch on your headstand. Okay, we're gonna go hand down like this. We're gonna reach your arm behind just like this. You're gonna hop up and hold. Hop up and hold, okay? Once you're comfortable with that, all you have to do is bring that knee in and thread it through. So lean over that arm, step through, come down, okay? Then you're gonna do the thing, same thing in reverse, kick this leg behind, so bend low, kick up, through, and then up, kick up, through, okay? So now all you have to do is go higher and then you can do it into a handstand, okay? So start from standing up like this now, bring your hand, grab one leg, then go up, thread through, and then if you want to stay up there in a night queue or whatever, you're welcome to do that. So try again from the back, standing up, going up, through, pull, okay? And more than that, just gets quite intermediate and advanced, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Just keep me with that basic one. Huge list, I know. The reason why I have power in here is because I think everyone should start learning how to do a little bit of threading in their power moves. So obviously if you don't have any power yet, you're not gonna be able to do this, but um, backspin threading is really easy. So I wanna explain to that to you guys first, because it gives you a good understanding of how to start threading while in fast momentum. Okay, now let's start threading in your power. So for threading in your power, all you gotta do is remember those threads within the beginning, okay? So we have got did those handcuff threads, we did your infinity threads, we did your figure four threads. You're just gonna do those basic ones while spinning. That's all. So if you understand how to do a backspin, which I'm assuming again that you already do, okay? So if you have just a basic backspin like this, all you gotta do is first, let's try infinity thread, just like this, okay? So the same infinity thread while spinning. So get a decent spin first. I'm just in a t-shirt, so I'm not gonna do anything crazy, okay? But it's just decent spin. And then thread, 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 just like that. If you have the thread solid on the ground and you can do the actual power move decently, together they're not hard, which is why I want to demonstrate them because I feel like people think it's pretty hard, but it's really not, okay? Next up, let's do figure four. Go in, back spin, grab, kick, kick, just like that, yeah? Then lastly, let's do a handcuff with it, okay? This one's probably the most challenging because there's so many uh, moving pieces with it. So you're gonna go, behind for this one, then step through, step through, step in, step in, okay? So again, while spinning, you either start with your arms behind, it's probably the easiest, winging everything in, and this is a nice position for your backspin, then just undo, undo, redo, redo like that, okay? One more time. Just like that. Welcome back, now I want you guys windmill threading. So again, this is not actually as hard as you think it is because if you know how to do a decent kind of windmill or stab mill, then it's actually pretty easy and especially after you learn how to do a backspin, it's not that hard. So let's get into that. So I know this feels quite challenging and especially with anybody that doesn't have a ton of space, even for me, it's a little bit hard um, in the space I have to do. But basically all we're gonna do with our thread is we're gonna do our infinity thread, which is this one, boom every time we come down to our back, okay? So you're gonna go, headstand, okay? Come down, then when you land right here, you do one thread, and then you literally just whip back up into your wooden lift, okay? It's honestly, hair in my mouth, it's honestly that simple. Let me just get my wrist guard. The hardest part of it is just finding that timing, okay? So again, we're gonna start in our head position, headstand position. You can do it from stab if you want to, it's just you have less time, okay? So from headstand, we're gonna go wind up, and then as we come down, grab that foot, same arm as leg, okay? If your stab arm or dropping arm for your windmill is your left, like mine is, which is counterclockwise, you're gonna be grabbing your right leg and then threading through. And then, as soon as you thread through, we're already in a tuck position, you just pump everything to the sky like a munch mill, okay? And or like your beginning windmill, yeah? So you're gonna go here, wind up, down, thread, and then you just have to pump right back up after it. Now, if I stop like that to let you, to talk to you, I will, I'll already miss the spot to pump back up. So I'm not gonna talk this one, but I'm gonna show you, okay? So go in. Down, up, just like that, okay? Dude, I'm kicking stuff, I'm ready. But that's literally all you have to do. After you thread, pump back up to your sky, okay? I'm gonna see if I can kind of throw, throw two but I'm not sure if I'll be able to with the space that I have, but I will try for you guys. All right, go in. So I was gonna hit stuff on the second one, but I hope you kind of saw that. I'm just gonna double check. 
All right, standing up. Now we're going to stand up slash talk rock threads. So for this, we're starting off with our knee threads. Again, just like on the ground, just higher up. All you're doing, same thing. Grab your knee with your arm. Step through, pull it across. Other one, through and across. And through and across. Ah, I need to take this off. Through and across, through and across, just like that, okay? Next up, we're gonna do our handcuff and or jump threads. This is honestly probably one of the most sketchy ones in my opinion, because it's just so hard. Because unless you have longer arms, it can be challenging to your legs all the way through. But literally, if you can do this, you can step on your hands like this, you can do it, okay? That's all you need. So the hands together, put them down, step through, bend low, nice and tight. You're just gonna hit that position. The way, there's not really a way to do this like simply, just first, of course, get this down. So just standing up, single leg, and then you just have to kind of go for the jump. Bring your knees nice and high, jump high, bring your arms nice and low, do it on a mat on the grass first. And if you hit your hands, let go, so you're not gonna land on them, okay? So let's try, bending low. Like that, okay? If you feel sketched out, just let go. Last second, okay? Like this. Let go, okay? Then go for it again. Boom, just like that. Welcome back. Now we're gonna do single leg jump threads. Jump thread, if you want a full in depth version of the jump thread tutorial, link's right here. You can check that out, but for now, we're just gonna briefly go over it, okay? So we're just gonna go here, grab your toe, and push your arm leg down into your arm. Grab your arm up, make this circle nice. Bend low, jump up. Then when you're in the air, all you have to do is bring this from here to the back, okay? So you're going here, jump, land. Then this knee, go as high as you can, then you thread through. So you're going forwards, thread. Then, once you're comfortable with that, all you have to do, bend low, push into that arm, bend that knee in, and then repeat that process. Arm going forwards, leg going backwards. Just like that, okay? Then if you want to add them together, whatever, you're welcome to, like this, going, one, two. After that, we're gonna do our two-step thread. Literally just here, infinity thread down on the ground. So you're gonna grab your toe, pull your toe up, step through, boom, like that. Then once you step through, grab the next toe, and then step through again. So you're just gonna go walk in like this on the spot. Step through, step two, through. So just make sure you're not stepping on your fingers. So you keep that toe raised, and then all you gotta do is keep repeating the motion. It's literally that simple. Then lastly now, we're gonna do our sling thread. High knee. Tuck through. So high knee it, and then pull it back through, so that, and then repeat. Sling, sling, and again, as always, make sure you do both sides. So now we're gonna go to arm threading. So again, the base isn't huge here, because again, it gets pretty advanced pretty quickly and pretty abstract, so these are just kind of the base ones that I've figured out. So, number one, you're starting with your visor thread. If you have a hat like mine, go to a visor like this, hand to connect into it, Arm goes through it, just like this, okay, very simple. Boom, visor, through, just like that. Other hand, grab, through. Grab, through, grab, through, visor, thread. Next up, you're gonna do your chin wrap. This is kind of an extension of your visor. From there, you go, boom, okay, you just did this. Then you're gonna grab this elbow, boom, here. Then you're gonna wrap this arm in underneath to your chin. So again, that was visor, hand through, Grab your elbow, chin, wrap underneath, okay? So one, two, three. Other side, going visor, through, then grab that elbow, chin, wrap, boom. Visor, through, grab that elbow, chin, wrap, boom. One, two, three. All right, next up, we've got your elbow through. Then next one, you're gonna go like this, boom, hand up against the shield, other arm to your elbow, then bring that arm underneath, out, and then in, boom, 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 boom. Really easy, I know. But again, if you understand these basic ones, then they're gonna help a lot more for intermediate ones later on, okay? Lastly, we have your pant wrap or your shirt, whatever, anything down here. Bring your arm through, pull it across, grab with the other hand, through. It's like your infinity thread, but down here. Again, it feels basic, but if you get this one, then later on, again, it translates to harder ones, okay? All right, y'all. Okay, everyone, on that note, this is my complete guide to threading for beginners. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And by something, I mean a lot of things because I know there's a lot of things in this and I know it's a big kind of list 
Um, obviously, everyone's gonna have their own perspective and own kind of idea of what their threading foundation should be. This is, again, just my opinion. This is just my base, this is just my beliefs. So again, take everything by a grain of salt, double check, fact check, do everything you want. I hope you guys find this kind of helpful though, as I said, and if you like this video and would like maybe an intermediate or advanced threading foundation, let me know, comment down below, and I can see if I can make that happen for you guys. Thanks so much, this is your boy, and this is my new for now, and have a great and I'm out, Pa! Love is love. Love is love.